Winning a Supercross Championship was a dream come true for me. Ever since I was a little kid, since my first race, it's, it's always been what I've worked towards and been a goal of mine. So to finally get that, it's, um, it's, a, it's just a really good feeling. I started this year with not much at all. I um, approached Stephen Jones from AJ's Motorcycles in Shepparton and asked him if he could do us a deal and he was kind enough to help us out with the KDM 252 stroke and also with his suspension through TuneTech Racing. And we headed to round one of the motocross, we got some pretty solid results and then we came out at round two and I actually managed to qualify first and that was the first time in my career that I'd been number one at any point at a national event so that was a big turning point for me from in this year. Once I did that I believed in myself that you know I could do this, I could win. If I could be fastest in qualifying then I can win a race. So from there on out my results started to build. I got my first moto win, I got my first overall national podiums and I finished out the year in fifth overall which was, which was the goal coming in. So after that I felt like we had a really good base uh, coming into Supercross. I do believe I'm, I'm better at Supercross so that was also you know, a big thing for me and we worked really hard coming into it. You know, I knew I could win the championship. I sort of, I never get too big in the head but I always knew, you know, um, you know this, this could be my time so I worked really hard at that just to achieve my goal and give myself the best possible setup that I could coming in and thankful enough I had Steve with me to to help me out with suspension and we did a countless days out here testing just Getting, the, getting everything right to, to give myself the best shot at it and it paid off. I actually did my first race when I was seven years old just across the road from where I live. Uh, a local club started up and that was where it all began for me and from there I remember my dad approached me one day and said you know there's a race an hour away up the road from here and you know would you like to do it and of course I said yes and ever since then it's just built from a club level to a regional level now we're at, at the national level of the sport. Yeah, Stephen Jones from TuneTech Racing has been a huge part of my success this year. I really can't thank him enough for everything he's done for me. I, um, I approached him about two months before round one of motocross and he helped us out and you know, I honestly believe the setup I've had this year, it's the best I've ever had and without that I wouldn't have been able to get the results that I've had. You know, we, did a, we did a lot of testing here before Supercross just to get me happy and to get me comfortable on the bike and I believe having confidence in your bike is a really big thing in Supercross and he was able to give that to me. And, it played a huge role in my success. Just having Steve there, you know, he's always positive, he's always got something good to say and even just as a mentor and even as my manager, you know, he just helps out from just absolutely everything. I can't thank him enough for what he's done for me this year. The plan for next year is to step up to the lights class, motocross and supercross. And this is something I'm really excited about. Ever since I went senior, it's always sort of, I've always wanted to step up to the pro class, but in the under 19s was sort of where I had to be. So I'm really looking forward to next year. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come out and see it as a learning year for me, but I do expect to get wins and podiums along the way. And you know, if you look at my times through the Supercross series, I actually had really good times compared to the lights. I think at the last round in Newcastle, I actually had the second quickest lap time out of under-19s and pro lights. So that's, um, that gives me a lot of confidence heading into next year, knowing that I, can, I have the speed. I just have to learn and adapt to that new class, new riders and everything. And I believe next year will be a good year. Being a part of the Fox family is a huge honour for me. It's, it's something I've, ever since a little kid, I've always loved the Fox brand and all their gear and all their clothing. And you know, it's a big honour to be a part of such a well-respected and, and well-known company. They've got some of the greatest athletes in the sport and even in action sports in general. So to be a part of that, you know, when, when Mick approached me at our round two of the Nationals and asked me if, you know, if I wanted to be a part of, of the Fox family, that was, um, that was something really great for me. That was, that was even better than, like, say, winning a, an overall win. You know, just to have that opportunity and be a part of something so special, it, it meant a lot to me. And I hope the relationship continues into the future for a long time. Yeah.